Hey, here we are for another Microsoft Excel tutorial. Another sports related one. I've been doing the baseball ones, a couple baseball ones recently, and I thought, man, the NFL draft is this week. It's in a couple days, day after tomorrow, round one on Thursday night. And it would maybe be fun to do a real simple Excel spreadsheet looking at some data for the NFL draft. Uh, I got this from reading a book by Pat Kruin called Take Your Eye Off the Ball. If you're a fan of the NFL, you have to read that book. Get it and read it. It is awesome. So eye-opening on all the information and stuff that just goes into managing a team. And you, you learn a lot about the, about the professional game. Uh, he does an outstanding job. Pat Kerwin, if if you ever want to check that out, I'd, again, highly recommend it. So NFL Draft is coming, and we have, you know, basically the combine where the players go through these different workouts. And, you know, it's take what, what you can for it. And like Pat Kerwin saying, does the 40-yard dash really matter? You know, is it, what are these metrics that they're using? And he put together this thing called an explosion formula. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to type in NFL draft explosion ratings. All right. This can be found on NFL.com. You can find combine results or find information anywhere online about like the players pro days where you can get these information if they tested it out. So I just kind of wanted to show you. If, it works good with uh, defensive linemen, linebackers, and possibly offensive linemen too. Anything where like a short burst explosion is something that you think could be impactful for that player. And I thought I'd show you how this works. So a few players that I found online. Uh, let's see. I guess I should put on here. <laughs> Struggling here, everybody. Sorry. Uh, name. And then I'm going to put in here position. And then I'm going to go vertical leap. Standing broad jump. And bench reps. Like how many times they are able to lift 225, I believe it is. And then I'm going to have a thing here that says explosion. And then just so we're not just doing it a simple sum spreadsheet here uh, we can wrap a little nested if statement with this so I'll go rating okay so I'm gonna make the name one nice and long here so we could see that position doesn't have to be very long uh, these here I think I am gonna wrap this text save a little room there I think that'll work good and then we'll have the explosion here and then the rating so these are just a few players that I looked up you could do this for any player like that is being drafted by your team or you can do this with uh, any player that you want to your team to draft or if you just are interested in looking in looking up all the information so first one here Karloftis George all right is a defensive end and the vertical leap here is 38. The broad jump, we want to have that in feet. And I believe they give you broad jump in inches. So when you find that online, you just have to divide it by 12. All right, so here we have 10.833. You can round it to wherever you want to. And bench reps, 21. So that's our first one here. I'm just going to do one of each of these major positions. Um, I have... Lloyd Devon for the linebacker position and linebacker 35 10.5 for the broad jump again I had to take the inches divide by 12 uh, to find it in feet and then bench press reps 25 okay and then we have Butler Matthew defensive tackle and these aren't in any particular order. This is just from what I was looking at a little bit earlier. Uh, 9.33 for the broad jump. And 
17. Everything that any of these players do, even lower on the metric score, greatly more than what I would ever be able to do on a good day. I will assure you that. Um, this is just for interesting analytics, I guess. Green, Kenyon, guard, so an offensive lineman. And then we have 26 inches for vertical leap, 8.5, and 20. Okay, um, so this is what we have for these players here. Basically what uh, Pat Kerwin says is if you take these measurements, and we just have to do a simple equal sum here, and we bring this over, those three values, that gives us our explosion rating okay and basically if you're 70 or greater that is an explosive player that's like elite physical talent um, if it's 65 or higher then um, that rating would be still be impactful still could be an impactful player in the NFL and then anything below that is you know not as impactful doesn't mean they're not going to go on and have a great NFL career but it's just a formula that he kind of uses and he doesn't tell you how much that he used it but uh, something that can go into being a fan where we're not just watching the underwear Olympics in the NFL combine right it, it gives us something to where as fans we can play around with these numbers and kind of give us some tools to where we can evaluate these players you know, as being fans of our team or just fans of the sport in general. So for this, for this rating, uh, I'm just going to use a nested if statement here. So equals if, open parentheses, and I'm going to say F3. That's where the cell is. Equals if F3 greater than or equal to 70, comma, quotation mark, explosive quotation marks and then a comma then I will follow that with if parentheses f3 is greater than or equal to 65 comma quotation marks and I'm just gonna put in impactful quotation marks and then I'm going to put comma. And then I need my false statement. And I'm just going to say not impactful. Even though they very well could be. You could use whatever you want for this. I'm not trying to dog on anyone or anything like that. I'm just using these metrics that I found that I thought were interesting. All right. So up here, uh, this first example, 69.833. Impactful. Obviously, not rounding up here, but pretty darn close to 70. If I highlight these two and I fill down, all right, then uh, Devin Lloyd, 70.5, explosive. Uh, Matthew Butler, 58.33, close to 60, you know, closer to there, um, but would be listed as not impactful and not impactful. Again, I hope they go on to have awesome careers, especially if the Eagles draft any of them, have phenomenal careers. All right, now just to compare this to a few other um, players, just kind of a recent memory. So uh, Garrett Miles. Miles Garrett, all right, defensive end who went to Cleveland. Pretty phenomenal uh, performance and is, a, is, a, is an awesome player. So vertical leap, 41. Broad jump, oops, sorry, 10.6. And bench reps for him was 33. Okay, so I think of him as like someone coming out of college everyone was real excited about. Uh, Levante David. I, I put him on here because it, a great linebacker for the Buccaneers came out of Nebraska, and a lot of people were concerned with him being undersized. All right, uh, living in Nebraska, so I'm familiar with, with his uh, time in Nebraska and – was an awesome player just all over the field. And so I thought it would be interesting to see that. David Levante and was a linebacker, is a linebacker, Super Bowl champion now. Um, and then 36.5 for the vertical leap. 
uh, 9.916 for the broad jump and 19 for the bench reps. Okay, and then we have here um, Aaron Donald, obviously a elite player. So let's go Donald, Aaron, defensive tackle, 32 for the vertical leap, 9.6 uh, for the broad jump, and 35. These were just all found on the internet. As we know, everything on the internet is 100% accurate, right? And then the last thing we have here, um, I just, because I had an offensive lineman up there with Kenyon Green, um, I thought, let's go with the offensive tackle. Uh, let's go Trent Williams, okay? Because I don't know how great, if it is, it's probably still good for offensive linemen, but I think it works really good for, like, those front seven players uh, who you want to be explosion High explosion, explosive off the ball, you know, wrecking havoc on that offensive line. But we'll do this with Williams, comma, Trent. OT and 34.5 was what I found for vertical leap. 9.416 for the broad jump and 23 for the bench. Okay, so now... Just taking these and feeling straight down here. Take those ones out. All right, and let's look at this. So Miles Garrett, 84.6. Very high on the explosive rating if, if 70 is explosive, right? Uh, Levante David, impactful. It's barely at 65, but has put together an awesome career. So, again, it doesn't matter where you're at, but also, obviously we could see on here he was impactful, though being – with the rating, though being down right at that cutting cutting line of it of almost being not impactful as far as the rating goes. So it, it doesn't always show you. Uh, Aaron Donald, as we would highly expect, explosive. And then Trent Williams, 66.9 as being still impactful. So that's some players that, you know, we know about, are familiar with, and some people who might be up and comers uh, from this year's draft. So here you go. Get your uh, your tablet out or your Chromebook or your your uh, laptop, whatever, handy on the draft. Make a list of these players, and you can either type them in as it's happening or you can make this ahead of time. Just take a whole spreadsheet uh, of defensive ends, defensive tackles, linebackers, and O-linemen if you wish, and see what kind of – information you can gather and if they have those tangibles you like or if, if there's all else is even and you can't really tell and you just are looking at 40 yard dash times maybe instead look at some of these other metrics where you can formulate that explosion score just by adding vertical leap in inches plus broad jump in feet plus the bench reps and see how good it is at predicting some of these players Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments, and we'll catch you on the next video.